chaos at the war-torn Al-Shifa Hospital in northern Gaza as a mass evacuation unfolds. Hundreds of patients and medical staff have fled today, but there are conflicting reports about who's exactly behind this exodus. Israel says not them, claiming they agreed to assist with any evacuation efforts. Meanwhile, Israel warns it will expand its ground offensive beyond northern Gaza, according to Gaza's media office. The death toll there now stands at more than 12,000. NBC's Jay Gray is in Tel Aviv following today's developments for us. So, Jay, welcome to you. I know you visited a border community that was attacked on, uh, was attacked on October 7th. You spoke with survivors there. Tell us about that visit and also what's going on at Al-Shifa. Yeah, and let's start with Al-Shifa. We know that IDF Special Forces, Alex, are really moving into several hospitals across northern Gaza right now, but Al-Shifa continues to be the focus. And over the last 24 hours or so, we have seen staff, patients, civilians who have been sheltering there, leaving in droves. Doctors have said that they were ordered to leave the facility by Israeli soldiers. The IDF is disputing that claim. What we do know is that the IDF has provided evidence that they found weapons, uh, ammunition, tunnels inside the hospital. What they haven't found and what both Israeli and American intelligence has said is in Al-Shifa is a command and control center. The IDF says uh, work to find that location is continuing and may take some time. And you talked about our visit to one of the kibbutzes. It was just a few hundred yards away from the border uh, with uh, Gaza. And we were among the first journalists allowed inside. In fact, while we were there, we're so close that we heard uh, firefights and uh, automatic uh, weapons fire. We heard a lot of the mortars uh, going out. And, and I can tell you that that was a community that, that was hit hard. 20 people were lost. It's a place uh, that at one time uh, was known for the freedom wall, the peace wall that it had between uh, the two areas. It's the one kibbutz where some of the Hamas terrorists flew in on motorized paragliders. Uh, we talked to one of the survivors there who says they will not let this attack define their community. What happened didn't change me. I didn't change. I'm the same person and I'm working hard not to, to change. And I still believe in the values that I believed before. And I believe that uh, uh, even more strongly that we need to be who we are. And that's definitely not like they are. So we are not Hamas and we are not turning into Hamas. And the only people who can choose not to be Hamas is Hamas. But I'm not turning into them. So obviously the only solution to war is peace. It's just that you need two sides to say that sentence. So I'm standing here and saying eventually we would want peace. But we need to make sure that the people on the other side won't come to slaughter us while we are voting for peace. Yeah, as you would expect, there's still a lot of pain in that community. The emotion's still very ragged, Alex. Absolutely. All right, Jay, thank you for that.